Hello fellow internet dweller, Brickineer here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Space Police 3 Smash and Grab set. Set number 5982. It released in 2010 with two minifigures, and it, the set includes 188 pieces, originally retailing for $20 USD, which is about $24 in today's money. If you want to get this set now, you're looking at around $17 used and around $30 sealed. This is a really interesting set, so let's take a closer look at the build. To start off, let's just appreciate the creativity here. This is basically a space tow truck. That's at least that's kind of how I see it, like a space pickup tow truck. It's really awesome color scheme with purple, black, and yellow. That looks really good. And it's got a lot of cool details. In the front here, you got some big uh, little dagger things here, kind of spikes sticking out of the front. So you can ram into other cars in front of you. You got also this kind of railing piece sticking out. So there's a lot of extra uh, depth to the front of the vehicle there. There's also some grill pieces as well as these missiles. Right now they kind of look like maybe turn lights, maybe brake lights, something like that. But they are in fact missiles, which is pretty cool. And we'll take a look at how to shoot those in just a little bit. Got some stickers on the front here. On the front hood, it's got a line going all the way down to the top of the uh, cabin there. It's also got these really interesting pieces. They're, I think, like Technic or something. That They look like this. Very interesting piece. Never seen it before used, before I've seen this set. So those kind of add some extra bulk to the front of the vehicle. And I think it looks really nice. Gives it a more unique shape there. And it's also got these like added uh, engine exhaust sort of things there. So I think that looks really neat. Then we move back to the cabin and it's got a really nice translucent yellow. It's kind of rare to see translucent yellow nowadays. I think it was uh, way more common in the old, old uh, classic space stuff. They had a bunch of translucent yellow. And uh, maybe this is a homage to that. There is a lot of classic space and like Blacktron stuff like that homages in these space police sets. So that might be why. Uh, in order to get inside, you just simply remove the top there. I'm not actually sure. I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to remove that. That was just kind of loosely put on there. But then actually maybe you are supposed to remove the whole thing. Because it would be way harder to get the figure in there. So here we have Squidtron. We'll take a look at him in just a second. But he's able to just sit in there. He's got a steering wheel. And is just able to sit in there. No seat or anything. But he just kind of plops in like so, and then you're able to slap the roof back on there. Moving backwards a little bit, got some more angles, really nice de designs and details, lots of different slopes and different angles, stuff like that. You also get some clips for different tools here. So on the left here, we have a blaster. And this is, I believe, this is not supposed to be like a gun that's attached to the vehicle. You're supposed to be able to take it off, like so. And uh, Squidtron is supposed to hold on to it and shoot with it. And then on the other side, we have a wrench. So some tools to fix up the car, just in case. Then, moving to the back a little bit, we have the big tow crane thing here it's got some cool spikes on the top this is max 200 and 
fifty thousand dollars. That is a dollar. Uh, yeah, that is a dollar sign there. Maybe in the the space police world that means whatever unit of weight they have. But uh, right now it says money, so maybe that's rely uh, referencing the bank that the smash and grab is stealing. Got some more engine stuff there. But the rest of the back here is kind of barren, at least in the middle here. Now we have these here, and these are to shoot the missiles in the front. So there are these Technic rods that go throughout the entire vehicle, all the way through to the missiles. The, they are flick fire missiles, but you don't actually have to flick them, because instead you just push and they go forward. Now, they're not that good if you just uh, slowly push on them. Let's see if they can go a little farther than that. If you like really, I guess they can, they can go far. There's a closer look at the missile there. This is a standard flick fire missile. I think flick fire missiles are good when there's something else launching them except for your uh, instead of your hand. Because when you have to like actually flick them, then they don't go too far, and they kind of suck. But when you're like pushing on something, that really helps the flick fire missiles. And then also finally on the back there are these giant engine builds, and these are really nice, really detailed. Kind of remind me of the space truck getaway set. They have very, uh, it's not the same design, but it's very uh, similar in how they decorate the engines here. So in the front of the engines, there is another laser gun there. And of course, this is on the other side. It's all mirrored. So what's on one side will be on the other. And we have the big engine piece. Got one of these like turbo chargers there, some kind of like grill slope pieces. One of these control sticks kind of moved down just to add some more detail along with this extra fin and this piece here. I'm not really sure what this is called. I know I think it's used for the, uh, the front bumper of some like smaller cars, maybe from like Lego racers or something like that. But that is also used for a little extra detail to the engines. And then finally, of course, you have the uh, engine escape or whatever that's called where the, the flame is supposed to come out. Uh, there is no flame, though. So this is all that it looks like. You just imagine a flame there. But yeah, that is the smash and grab truck. Now, what are you smashing and grabbing? Well, you are smashing and grabbing this Asteroid Bank ATM. Now, why is there just a ATM floating around in the middle of space? Uh, who knows? But it's got a cool sticker on there, and this says Asteroid Bank. It's got a little image of the space city, perhaps. And it also uh, has kind of a homage to the classic space with the uh, little rocket going around. Got some stars there, looks pretty nice. And then you'll get an additional sticker here for the controls to the ATM. At the bottom, you have like a little speaker system there, which is pretty weird inclusion. But this whole build is meant to look like a little rock floating in space which is pretty cool. The little hook for the smash and grab to cling on to. And then in order to get the money from the back, you just need to open this and then you get two $100 bills. Unfortunately, there's no other way to get them out. Like this little slit here is covered up by another piece. So you're not able to get the money out of there. You would have to uh, grab it from the back. And then this, of course, is supposed to be hooked on here. So you just hang it on there. You do have to raise the crane up quite a bit for it to actually be able to dangle there instead of just 
being on the ground. I guess you could maybe do that if you wanna have it sitting there or you can raise it even higher like so to be able to hold it and have it still dangle. Or of course, if you're holding it, then you can make it go a little farther like that. But you that would only be when you're holding it or maybe if you build a stand for the set to display it on, then you can have it a little farther down. But yeah, that is the smash and grab. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. The Space Police Officer for this set is a carbon copy of the figure from the Raid VPR. And it's a little bit unfortunate they didn't even switch the face out. It's just the exact same minifigure. So that's kind of sad, especially if you have both of them, the Raid VPR and the Smash and Grab, then you'll have two of the same officer. But it would be pretty easy to just replace his face with some random face that you have lying around. So that is a possibility. I won't go into too much depth with this minifigure simply because I've already looked at him before on the channel. He's using the newer style of the Space Police Officer for Wave 2 of Space Police 3 with the brand new helmet with the red visor. I think that is a really awesome helmet there. Much better than the original one from Space Police 3. There is his face with like the grin. His torso and leg printing is the exact same from all of the Space Police 3 officers. With the logo there, some like chest plate armor, some pockets, and some knee pads on the legs. On the back of the figure, he does have that air tank or jetpack. And removing the air tank, you'll be able to see the back printing as well as his secondary face of a more shocked expression. And he also comes with a little blaster there using, I believe that is the old space gun piece. So that's pretty cool to see. But yeah, that is the space police officer. And the alien that you get in this set is Squidtron. He is part of the Black Hole Gang as symbolized by his leg printing, which is the exact same as almost every single Black Hole Gang logo, or member logo. Which is the exact same leg printing as the other space... Which is the exact same leg printing as other Black Hole Gang members. He's also using the same head mold as Squid Man, just with a little different colors. His torso there is pretty simple. It's kind of like a black vest with the red outlines on it. Got an interesting symbol there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a reference to old Lego space. I'm not 100% sure. And then on the top, you'll see his uh, head printing there. Very similar to Squid Man. And of course, you can't uh, forget his giant mouth there. Very scary. So that is Squidtron. He is the pilot of the smash and grab car. Now let's take a look at the display. Here is how I display the smash and grab. It is a little boring. I just have it kind of just sitting here in the middle of the alien side of my Space Police 3 collection. Uh, you could build a stand, of course. I have not built a stand for it. I have been showing this stand off back here for some of my other reviews, like the Raid VPR and the Squid Man's Pit Stop, but that stand is too small to fit this Smash and Grab. So if you wanted to, you can build a big stand, have it flying around your other Space Police sets, or maybe it's just Space sets in general. But that is how I display it. It is pretty small, a little wide with these little fins, of course, but... Um, yeah, it's not that big, and you can always fold up the fins if you want to, or fold them down. So yeah, that is how I display the set. Just the minifigure kind of just sitting there, and then Squidtron inside. Yeah, that's how I display the smash and grab. Here is the instructions for the set. The big smash and grab there, with Squidtron in the corner there, in this wanted poster. 
they are in the space city as opposed to being outside of it in these wave two sets standard instructions until you get to the back with the part count and then there's an advertisement for the raid vpr which i have reviewed so i can link that review in the description then you get this poster and this poster has been in all of these sets it's interesting that they're not advertising the new space police three sets except for of course the raid vpr but i guess they just wanted to throw in this poster because it is pretty cool and then on the back you have an advertisement for the lego adventures of clutch powers movie which i have seen and it is pretty good along with some lego club stuff and then your average win advertisement so that is the instructions i don't have the box overall i think for the low used price of 17 dollars this set would make an excellent addition to anybody's space police or just space collection adding a lot of color and creativity to your collection i think it's a fun play set along with an awesome display set lots of detail and it doesn't take up too much space but it certainly can attract a lot of attention because of those colors and the design that is all i have for this video if you did enjoy maybe consider hitting that like button and if you've seen a lot of my other videos maybe consider subscribing but that is all i have for today thank you for watching and i hope to see you in another video peace out